We are vulnerable to falling in love a hundred times daily. The Biebers and the Britneys are introduced to us only to tug at our heartstrings and leave after the billionth ticket and bottle of perfume is sold. If we follow certain tips laid out in glossy mediums, we will be able to finally love our reflections, our bodies, and possibly even our thoughts. If we install certain devices into our lifestyles, we can stay connected at every breathing second. There is a supreme being at work, tirelessly recycling his own definitions of normalcy and distributing it across the globe. The old is the vintage, is the nostalgic, is the beautiful. The new is the fresh, is the virginal, is the desired. We blindly accept the trends, throw out the clunky, and seek out the sleek. We are not conned into a thing. We need these things. It is primal. It is necessary. When I was a teenage bride, I was a tanning Aphrodite a 21st century man's field. The sparkling listless afternoons only saw me in comfort. Bejeweled with privilege and pride, I never looked back. And I did make a video on Angelina Jolie about, um, she does adopt a lot of African American children. And what about all the diamonds that she wears? Okay, because there's a big conflict, obviously. Especially, I didn't even know it. Um, but Leonardo DiCaprio made that great movie, Blood Diamond. So, um, I've been getting comments. Well, maybe she uh, wears or buys conflict free diamonds. <laughs> These are objects that break any promise of a unity between ourselves. We are divided between producer and consumer, first world and third. The otherness is magnified and we refuse to relate. Our livelihood is dependent upon theirs. It goes beyond useless stones to what we put on our feet, what we use to protect our bodies against the cold or embrace the heat how we energize our bodies, how we style our hair, and how we communicate with our friends. They are stunning at $138.96. Diamonds. Diamonds. But you have citrine and purple amethyst and blue topaz and green amethyst. And look at those deep, deep dark, rich, genuine garnets, all for $138.96. Carol Brody, known as the Queen of Luxury, the Queen of Diamonds, worked many years with Harry Winston, and it's all about elegance. Finally found time to upload a vid in the right light to catch the actual sparkle from my diamond. Enjoy ladies, sorry it took so long, this is right after getting it cleaned so it's super shiny. Any more questions, just message me. Is it our fault then that some of us just don't know the source? Sometimes we cannot turn our shoulders when our faces are constantly glued to the advertising screen. It's all about the best of the best, what the world has to offer from those designers for, you know, diplomats and movie stars. But you're going to be that movie star. You're going to be that diplomat when you're wearing these pieces. Where do you see yourself in the grand scheme of things? Are you working outside of, underneath, through the system? Who is your service provider? What is your bank? What is the name of the owner? From the nimble, callous fingers that crafted your communication device. Is Lindsay innocent? Those deep, dark, rich, genuine garnets, all for $138.96.